Ahoy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Diecast review. And this is of Zach Veach's 2020 number 26 Gambridge Andretti Autosport Honda. Now, have I done this review before? Yes, I have, actually. I did it back in 2020 when this car first came out. However, this one is a little different. You see, this is the AeroScreen decal prototype. Now, the Zach Veach car was actually the first um, AeroScreen car that we got in 1 to 18 scale. However, this is the decal sample for the AeroScreen car. And there are some pretty interesting differences as I eject spit from my mouth and land on camera. Um, very, very interesting car indeed. There are some pretty big changes, and I will obviously compare it to its counterpart, the actual release that we got. But I do want to focus on two major areas. First and foremost, I do want to focus on the aero screen, and the second thing is the shock cover. Um, now, another notable notable difference on this car is the Gamebridge logo on the side is missing the arrow, uh, as opposed to what we got in actual release. You can see the arrow there, but. Again, I do want to focus mainly up here. Let me refocus the camera. So it looks pretty much as it should, but if you look actually closer enough, the aero screen has no printing or decaling on it whatsoever. It's just a piece of plexiglass or whatever material they use for the glass or acrylic or whatever it is. The NTT IndyCar Series decal is actually on the pillar for the aero screen itself, on, for the halo portion of the aero screen. It's not on the actual glass, per se, or the plastic for the glass, which is really interesting. Like I said, there's no decaling. All this yellow here is actually on the halo device itself, not the aero screen. And to further prove it, you can see the mounting point. Well, maybe. You can see the mounting point there for the aero screen, and you can see that the um, plexiglass is completely clear. There's no decaling around it. And we just got the generic IndyCar series. Hi, Pippa. Anyways, you can see right there the IndyCar series logo set back on the Halo device itself, which is really interesting. Now, to tell it's a prototype, it does not have a DIN number on the bottom as compared to, say, a regular release, which we have here. Now, if you look at this arrow screen, we can do a quick side-by-side -side of the two. Here, I'll pick the camera up. You can see the difference between that one and that one, how the decaling actually comes out to here. The IndyCar Series logo is actually on the arrow screen there versus this one here where it's inside. Now, another difference is on the shock cover. You can see that the outlines are a lot more pronounced here on this shock cover. Now, this is not the same shock cover that we actually have on the road course kit. If you remember, it has kind of the um, indentations, the arrow lines here. I call them arrow foils for whatever reason, but you can see it's a lot more pronounced on this version. Now, on here, it's barely even noticeable. Like, you can see it there, but it's not pronounced at all. It's like the uh, paint application on this one is a lot thicker. Now, another thing that I've noticed is the colors on the prototype are a lot more vibrant than on the car that we actually received from Greenlight for whatever reason. And there's a great shot there to show you the difference on the shock cover. So, yeah, this is a very strange car. I, I actually picked it up from Greenlight Collectibles themselves. They were nice enough to let me in the building after all the stuff I've said about them in the last year. Uh, but it was very interesting seeing this car and seeing it for sale. So obviously I had to pick it up. It was a great deal, 40 bucks for a one of a kind car. Now what's interesting is this is not the only Zach Veach prototype of that time. They actually produced another one with the aero screen like this one, where it actually has the decaling on the aero screen. However, it has this one's shock cover on it, the more pronounced um, air inlets for the aero screen, which I found very interesting. Uh, and you can look up the pictures on it on Google, and so on and so forth. Um, I know this one's a little bit short, but just kind of interesting to see that. And obviously what could have been, um, which I'm glad that we did not get this, because this would have looked absolutely terrible. And actually you can kind of see it there-ish how it's back on the halo device itself and again no printing whatsoever on the aero screen 
but I mean, this is one of a kind. I mean, this is the first deco sampled um, arrow screen die cast. You know, this is the first non autograph one, which is very interesting in and of itself. But, you know, it's definitely really cool to have. Hold on, let me refocus the camera. Sorry, I'm not sorry. You know, very interesting, um, very interesting car to have. It's one that I really don't have a place for in the collection, but at the same time though, it it is different. Oh, I just noticed something else. It's missing um, a decal here that has right there. So um, let me try to point out any other differences real quick while I'm at it. I don't see any off the top, but you never know. Some pop up here and there. But yeah, very interesting one. And again, thanks to Greenlight for being nice enough to let me inside the building uh, after everything that we've been through together um very nice of them very very forward thinking and accepting of my um criticism thank you very much i appreciate that but yeah very interesting car and yeah so what are my plans for the rest of may real quick well obviously i'm gonna be at the speedway quite a bit uh you know this week so i do want to check out pretty much every indy 5 greenlight indy 500 winner review of the ones that I haven't done yet, starting with the Buddy Rice and kind of working our way all the way up to the Pagano. I do want to do those. And then also I have the uh, Dex Imaging card coming up, the Scott McLaughlin. And then the Jimmy Johnson, I believe, is going to be coming up as well. I haven't purchased that car yet, but I am actually kind of thinking about it because that car actually looks pretty decent. So I'm... Yeah, we got quite a few reviews coming up, and yeah, I can't wait. So, anyways, that's been a little bit of a look at this car. It's, again, a very interesting one. Very unexpected to acquire this one, but I couldn't pass it up. And, yeah, so that's really it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace out.